Oman has a burgeoning natural gas sector, and as the country's primary exporter of liquefied natural gas, Oman LNG is also becoming a reliable supplier of one of the cleanest fossil fuels available. Here we are in Sir, about 200 kilometers east of Muscat, where the Oman LNG gas plant is based. Here the company employs around 400 members of permanent staff from the area to ensure its uninterrupted supply of liquefied natural gas. Amman LNG was established by a royal decree in 1994 and now runs at a 34 million cubic metre capacity per day. Initial investment in the Amman LNG plant based in Sir was $2 billion. Now annual revenue from exports exceed $5 billion annually. The main aim of Oman LNG is we liquefy the gas that we receive from PDO, Petroleum Development Oman. We receive the gas at the starting point from the gas metering station. Then it's processed through three identical liquefaction trains, train one and two and three. The aim of the process trains is to liquefy the gas that we receive. So we sweeten the gas and then the gas is dehydrated and liquefied to a temperature of minus 162. Then this liquefied natural gas is stored. We have two LNG tanks. Then it is shipped to LNG tankers and it sells to the customers. We don't only sell uh, long-term LNG, uh, we also uh, market spot cargoes. And this increases the number of our contacts outside. For instance, we have almost uh, 40 or over 40 master agreements with different buyers. Some of them they don't buy, but they are ready to buy when there's an opportunity. So we have a pretty good footing into all markets, west and east. And our location in Oman, uh, we are just in between, equidistance from the west and the east. Oman is friendly to all countries of the world, and uh, we do business to as many as we can. This is the heart of the Oman LNG operation, the control room. Everything from the pressure, temperature and production rates to loading and shipbuilding schedules is monitored and controlled from here. There are usually around six people working in the control room to prevent any abnormalities and keep production constant. Amman's export of liquefied natural gas has often been described as the game changer to the country's economy because earnings from the sale of LNG cargoes have also provided elbow room for investment in other promising sectors. So we have quite successful Oman shipping company with a lot of vessels in all products and crude, but it started initially with LNG. And also we build capacity, as I say, in SMEs and other industries which we share common facilities as well. Oman LNG has really become an integrated part of the Omani economy and acts as a model for good corporate governance across the country. We are audited by a number of institutions, by our external auditors or international companies, by our state auditors, by our shareholders. And thus, I think we are one of the leaders in corporate governance. Safety is our core focus. Yeah? We put so much effort on safety because we want people to come and work and go back safe. We don't want people to lose fingers, we don't want people to get hurt while they work. And we are emphasizing this on daily meetings, in publications, in promoting safe work and safety culture. We have even gone down to the staff and make them commit. So we call it our statement, it's changing culture. You have to commit what are you going to do this year, next year, on making sure that you are doing some safety conducts, safety practices. And this is a culture, it's evolving, it's been successful so far, and it's been driven from the top to the bottom. And now we're engaging also our contractors to follow the same thing, and they love it because we have big uh, activities like shutdowns in the plant and we have thousands of people in the plant and they work, they go home safe. We take safety extremely serious. Uh, we have very good partners uh, in our industry whose reputation on safety is, is extremely important uh, for them as well, as well as for us. The likes of Shell, Total, uh, our eastern uh, partners like Koges. Oman, uh, I think, uh, without blowing us our heads too, too big, uh, we, we take environmental and health issues a very, very high priority in our day-to-day -day thinking. So I think the company has been doing very well. We have just achieved 
almost 13 million men hours without lost time injury. And this is not a small feat. But Aman LNG's commitment to ethical practice doesn't stop at its employees. The company sees its mission as improving the lives of all Amani people. 1.5% of Amman LNG's net income after tax goes into its diverse social investment programs, benefiting people of all walks of life.